About 90% of the time, my creativity looks something like this. Or this. Or like this. But most of the time, it feels like this. I know that there are people out there that can sit down and hammer something out for hours until it's finished, but for me, it seems like the harder I try to force creativity, the more intangible it becomes. I spent last week in Washington visiting my family and for the first few days, I kept having this nagging feeling in the back of my head, this stress of what am I gonna create next week? Initially, I wanted to do a piece on my coming back to my roots and spending time in my childhood home. But the harder I tried to piece something together, the less likely it seemed like it was gonna happen, especially being preoccupied with family. I felt terrible because I wanted to be there and be mentally present with them, but I just had this nagging thing on my shoulder that I was trying to juggle at the same time. Finally, I just gave up. I decided to not make a video for the week. A part of me felt like I was letting myself down because I had told myself that I was going to make one video a week regardless of what was going on in my life at the time. But the stress just wasn't worth the hassle at that point. A couple days after I had decided to let that go, let the idea go, let the entire video go, my dad asked me if I wanted to come fishing with him and my nephews. And I thought, well, I'll just bring my camera and shoot a couple things for my sister and, um, and for them, you know, for the family. And when I got there, I ended up filming pretty much the entire time we were there. And this creative energy just started flowing out of me as I was picking shots and choosing, you know, what to shoot and how to shoot and what was gonna be in slow motion and what wasn't. And everything that I was trying to accomplish with that first video just started pouring out into the creation of this new video. And I was so happy with how a lot of the shots turned out and how it came together in the edit that I just thought, well, this is what the video is for the week. So I just ran with it. A lot of times it feels like that stress or fear of whatever it is that you're working on acts as sort of a, a mental block. It was only when I was able to completely let go of all of that and I was able to then see a new opportunity that presented itself and my creative ideas began to flow. And people ask how I get over writer's block and whether instrumentally or narratively, I tend to tell people to just step away to go do something else, get your mind off of whatever it is. But I think the real answer here is to be able to let go of the attachment of what it is you're working on. Because if you're forcing yourself into a box creatively, it becomes impossible to problem solve, to think of ideas outside of that that might enhance or change what your idea originally was. If you're not bound to any one idea, every possibility opens up. There's no right or wrong, and it creates the ability to go down a different path that you didn't originally intend. Take that concept, strip away the fear of failure, strip away the stress of, can I do this? Is this gonna be successful? You take all of that and you let that go too. Anything becomes possible. To sum all that up, I think, at least for myself, I find that if I get out of my own way and let that creativity flow, rather than trying to force it, that tends to lend itself to better results, uh, more complete projects, more fully thought out, more well-rounded projects, rather than trying to beat something out of myself. The point is, get out of your own way, be the vessel through which that creativity can flow through, rather than trying to be the creativity yourself. I know that that's super spacey, super out there philosophical type way of thinking about creativity, but it's something that has helped me a lot over the years as far as getting ideas out on paper, so to speak. I know that some people just won't get it and that's fine. Hopefully you can gain some sort of inspiration from this rather than walking away being like, what is going on? What is he talking about? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Always a pleasure to have you. Thank you for being here. I will see you next week for the next video.